I had an anxiety problem and Daniel solved it. If you want to feel happy, this will help you. The demon that seemed to be possessing me has gone. My anxiety went away and it never came back. My anxiety went down and my confidence went up. And it's all thanks to Daniel's system. Daniel's process is so simple. Daniel is an engineer, so it's quite straightforward. The steps are so, so easy. You follow the steps, the results will be there. I'm much more calm, I'm much more relaxed. This program was nothing less than miraculous. This is something unique. It's super innovative. A different perspective, a different type of approach. I am a therapist, and I can tell you this is something really special. Most stuff is just symptoms. This goes to the root cause. When I saw that it was one thing, one simple little thing that I could address. Yeah, one, I wasn't expecting it, and two, I wasn't expecting it to happen so fast. My anxious feelings disappeared within a few weeks and never came back again. I've been less stressed than I've ever been in my life. I feel calmer and happier than I've ever been. I have my life back. I have my energy back. Life is just wonderful. I look forward to the day and every day ahead now. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, bring it on. I get to be alive. It's better than a million dollars. It's help us priceless. You just can't put a price on feeling free. Getting rid of anxiety doesn't have to be hard. I've been there. We've all been there. I know it's been hard. It doesn't need to be painful. This will help. It has helped me, and I'm very, very sure it's going to help also other people. Life does not have to suck. There is an option. Trust me, this will really help. It saved me probably years of any other other methodology. If you try things that have not worked. It got me results I couldn't get anywhere else. This works. It works. It works. This is actually what works. Change is 100% possible. Not possible, like 100% going to happen. If you don't want to change, then you probably shouldn't take this course because you are going to change. If you want to be free of anxiety, talk with Daniel. It's like the greatest gift ever. I tell you what, my husband is so glad I took this course. <laughs>
how to solve anxiety permanently so it's gone and it never comes back. Now, why does that matter? Why do I even have to mention that? Well, for your audience who has anxiety or knows somebody who has anxiety, they know that there's two horrible parts of anxiety. One is that you have anxiety, you know, and you're feeling anxious and fearful and it creates doubt. Uh, it holds you back. It follows you around. You can't be the person you want to be. You can't show up for yourself, your community, your faith. You're just not happy. But then there's another part, which is that your audience probably knows this. They've gone looking for help for their anxiety. And if you go looking for help with anxiety, what they're going to find is tips and tools and understanding that at best are going to help you manage it. Now, it's better than nothing. Managing anxiety is better than nothing, but there's only one downside to always be managing your anxiety. And that is, spoiler, you still have anxiety. So it's like, it's not a good business model. And I want your audience to understand, and what I'm going to share with them is for them to really know why, why they still have it. Why did they read that book that made a lot of sense, but they're still anxious? Why did they download that app and get a meditation, it helped a bit, but they're still anxious? Why did they maybe take some medication? Why did they, why is all this stuff that they thought would work not working? And the reason your audience needs to know this is because if you don't know why, they're just going to be stuck in this constant, never ending buying band aids and being and managing their anxiety their whole life and not living to their full potential. But also, when you're always managing your anxiety, you end up unconsciously blaming yourself sometimes like, ugh, I'm broken. There's something wrong with me. Why am I like this? And I want your audience to know no, there's a reason you're not solving it. It's because the mental health industry has a dirty little secret that I'm going to tell you about. And it's going to explain to your audience why they haven't solved their anxiety yet. So you don't blame yourself. So but your your audience, if you have anxiety, you're not broken. The system is, which I now sounds like a, you know, punk rock lyric, but still. So I'm not only going to explain to your audience why they haven't solved it yet. So you don't blame yourself. But I'm also going to explain to you what my team discovered, the two key discoveries that were necessary for us to build a system so that we could solve anxiety permanently. So if you just want, you know, tips and tools, if you want to spend the rest of your life learning about your anxiety and managing your anxiety, then you should probably leave the podcast now. If you want to understand that it's truly possible to be free of this permanently and you want to know how, then then that's about to go down. Yeah. Let's 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 make it go down. Yeah. <laughs> so would you like to start with your journey and um, tell us how you were able to overcome your own anxiety? Yeah. So my journey is, you know, they always say that you don't always know when you're going through something or these little breadcrumbs along the way end up being part of your journey and purpose. But now that I've gone through this and I look back, I just think, oh, my God, the whole time was setting me up to develop a program that gets permanent results with anxiety. And the reason permanent results matter to me is because when I was younger, when I was 10 years old, I remember just my dad was a scientist and he was also an inventor. And I remember he would invent things. Uh, and I just thought that was the most incredible superpower ever that he, it was like, you could just create something out of nothing. And he, he said to me, Daniel, you know, if something's not working in this world, you can just invent something better and make the world a better place. And I thought, Oh my God, that's so beautiful. And he also said something to me. He said, Daniel, I like science because anybody can claim to know what they're talking about, but the person that you can trust is the person who gets results results matter. And that stuck with me. And so through the love of inventing, but also wanting to get results, I went to uh, engineering school at UC Berkeley and I was trained properly how to, you know, solve complex problems, how to look at a complex problem, break it down into smaller pieces, create a theoretical prototype, then build a prototype and then test and optimize it until it works. It gets consistent results. And I was properly trained how to do that. The downside was, um, and I know, Toby, you went to engineering school. They teach you how to make things work, but they don't teach you how to make relationships work. Did they teach you that in, in engineering school, Toby? No, unfortunately not. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I missed that class. Uh, yeah, and yeah. also when I found out that Sir Isaac Newton uh, died a virgin, I probably should have been suspicious that, like, you know, science people <laughs> aren't always the best. Also, Einstein was a, not a good father and husband. So anyway... I didn't know what I didn't know, and I didn't know how to do relationships. So I fell in love with this woman, and we did not live happily ever after. I did something um, 
that maybe your audience, you know, knows something about. So we fell in love, but the relationship turned pretty unhealthy really quickly. And I did something which maybe your audience knows not to do is I stayed way too long. Have you ever stayed in a relationship too long, Toby? Um, no. <laughs> no. Good answer. I did. And so I was in this very unhealthy situation and it was so scary and basically traumatizing. And when it was over two weeks later, my whole system crashed. I just, the tiniest thing, and I would go into just full terror. And I later found out I had complex PTSD and anxiety and I'd never had it before. And it was horrible. Um, I just, you know, everything terrified me, which then leads to depression because you're exhausted all the time. I, I couldn't leave the house. I was in the fetal position in fear. And then I went trying to look to solve it. And I spent $100,000 in 10 years. I went to therapists, psychologists, gurus, teachers, faith healers, you know, uh, probably was in a cult. And I tried everything. And it just managed it. And my anxiety was even getting worse. Mm. And I just felt I, I wouldn't have ended my life, but I got why people do. I really, I got it because when you're miserable always, and there's no way out, it's like you have no hope. And I really just asked, I just looked up to the heavens and asked the big wisdom. I was like, well, what, what's the point? What is the point? Mm -hmm. And I heard very clearly, like if something's not working, invent something better and get results. And I went, oh, and so I started my own research company with the mission to see if it was possible to reverse engineer a process that would get permanent results for anxiety. Mm -hmm. And it was way harder than we thought, but we pulled it off. Um, I was one of the first test cases. My anxiety just, and PTSD just went away. It just went away and just never came back. Yeah. And when we saw that, when we had that data, the results, we went, oh my God, this is real. But then we wanted, we saw how much we could help people and we wanted to make it scalable. So we took the process and we spent another several years to systematize it and optimize it and test it to turn it into an online program uh, that anybody can do anywhere around the world. And it has a 90% success rate, wow, that's which is great. incredible, no matter what type of anxiety you have or how long you've had it. And also because results matter, when people work with us, you don't, you don't pay at the beginning of the program. At the end of the program, when you have measurable results, and we know it because we're, we're measuring your, your anxiety numerically, at, you only pay at the end when you get results. If you don't get results, you don't pay. Yeah. And we do that because results matter. And if we can't get your results, we're not gonna charge you. Now we can, but that matters to us. Now, the other thing is that results matter. And so I'm gonna share some things now that your audience is gonna hear and they're gonna think, well, that makes sense, but will it work for me? Mm -hmm. And your audience needs results. They wanna feel that this could help them. So at the very end of this podcast, I'm gonna um, send your audience to my website where they can download a free training where they can apply a technique that they will actually feel working in their body. They'll have real results that they really can live a life without anxiety. So yeah. that's my story. It's about why I'm super calm and why I care about results and why I care about results for the world. Because when yeah. you're in pain, results matter. Mm. I mean, I heard so much about your, your program and the 90 percent success rate, and that's why I, I'm looking forward to learning so much about it. But um, and thank you so much for sharing your story also. Like it's just a background to why you, you know, moved into this area. Like a lot of people are asking. Why is a mechanical engineer, you know, interested in solving anxiety? Those are two opposite things, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so, but um, the next thing I would like us to talk about is anxiety itself. Like after your years of research and testing, I would just like us to create like a foundation for everyone out there. Like, can you define what anxiety means and what would you say are the causes of anxiety? Well, it's an excellent question, Toby, because part of the reason people are so, feel so stuck and trapped is there's so many experts out there talking about anxiety and people are very confused. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people say, well, isn't anxiety natural? Isn't that your body's natural alarm systems? And then you have someone having a panic attack who thinks they're going to die. And you're, are you going to tell them, oh, this is a good thing? This is no. um, and people have huge misunderstandings of what anxiety is and even where it comes from. And one of the reasons people appreciate our program is it's very, it simplifies everything. But I'll give you 
a perspective that most people don't realize. So what we saw was essentially, um, and I'll explain this in a bit, but basically some people say, well, you'll hear people say, oh, isn't anxiety a good thing? You know, like, isn't, isn't that your body's natural alarms going off? You know, yeah. shouldn't, shouldn't, isn't a little bit of anxiety a good idea? Have you ever heard that sort of? Exactly. Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah. So here's the misunderstanding. Yes, we do have a natural alarm system where you can feel things when life is challenging. But when life is challenging, what is a healthy response is stress. Stress is a healthy response. It's even called the stress response. If you're challenged, if work is hard, if you're running late for an airplane, if you're worried about relationship, you should feel stress. Now, stress is anywhere from about zero to about three out of 10 to four out of 10. And it lasts usually the time that the challenge is happening. For instance, if you're running late for an airplane, you should feel stress, about four out of 10, three out of 10. But then once you get on the airplane, you should start to calm down. That is stress, that is healthy, that is normal. Mm -hmm. But that is not what a lot of your listeners are experiencing. They're not experiencing three out of 10 fear, they're experiencing four, five out of 10, six out of 10, seven out of 10, eight, not nine, 10 out of 10. They're experiencing panic attacks, mm -hmm. not three out of 10, 10 out of 10. And it's not just when the thing is happening. You can just be sitting at home feeling like there's a tiger in the room. Or you can get an email and start to feel anxious and you're not anxious for five minutes. You're anxious for five hours or five days. Mm -hmm. So that's not stress. That is anxiety. That is a problem. And that is what we solve in people. So now... I have stress. I feel stressed for maybe it's three out of 10 for about five minutes. That's a good life. So if you're listening to this and you have eight out of 10 anxiety for five hours a day, and you'd rather have maybe three out of 10 for five minutes, that's what we can get you. Yeah, that's good. And like people are very curious right now, like they are trying to find out what could be the cause of anxiety? Like why do I experience anxiety? Well, that's the million dollar question. And I'm going to explain the understanding of anxiety that we developed so that this will help fill in the blanks. Mm. Because there's so many theories on anxiety. But what you want is a theory on anxiety that makes it solvable. That's what people want. And not all theories lend themselves to solving things. For instance, let's say you have a car and your car is not running. And one person says, well, you have a power issue. All right, that's helpful. You can't do much with that. You have an engine issue. Okay, a little bit more helpful. Your car is broken. Okay, it's another theory, but like, what do you do with that? It's not actionable. There's nothing simple and solvable to do. But if somebody says, oh, actually, you're just out of gas, that's actually a simple, solvable solution. Why? Because you can go to the gas station, get some gas, put it in the car, you're up and running. So what I'm going to explain to you isn't just any theory of what anxiety is and where it comes from. It's a theory that makes it simple and solvable. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Yes. So let, let's look into yeah. your, your We program. like simple, right? Yeah, we like simple. We do. We do. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's simple and applicable. Now, yes, simple and applicable. Now, here's why I want to explain to you our process and, and is because, of course, on some level, your audience likes the idea of simple and solvable. But when I tell people we have a simple solution for anxiety, they just think it's too good to be true. They just can't wrap their heads around it because it just feels complicated. It feels complicated because they've had this a long time. They've been told a whole bunch of different conflicting stories and they're confused and it feels complicated. So I'm gonna to explain to you something so that you can understand why it's simple. But then also, no matter what I say, your audience won't fully believe me. And the training that I have for them at the end, that's gonna give them a real experience so that they can really feel how simple this is. But first I'll explain to you why it's simple theoretically, is because how we approach things. We approach things like engineers. We weren't therapists or psychologists or spiritual teachers. We weren't taking old information and, and passing it on. We were outsiders. And so we could just look at what was going on and look at things and say, okay, what's working and what's not working. So what most people are told, anxiety is a problem of the mind. That's, what, that's kind of the common approach. 
They'll say, you know, you need to quiet your negative thinking. Don't believe your ego. Uh, you need to be more, have more grateful thoughts. Um, they give you pills to target the neurotransmitters in your brain. It's called mental health, Toby. It's got the word mental right in there. So we are told it's a problem of the mind. And that's mostly where people are trying to solve it. Okay. But when you have anxiety, people say, I feel anxious. You feel it. And where do you feel it? Well, you'll, you'll, you can feel your throat kind of start to close up. Your chest can tighten. Your heart rate can go up. Your stomach can get that queasy feeling. So they tell us, the experts tell us anxiety is a problem of the mind. But listen to those words. Throat, heart, chest, stomach. Does that sound like the mind to you or more like the body? More like the body. It sounds more like the body to me. Yeah. And not more like the body. That is the body. Now, that was our first huge breakthrough as we went, wait a minute. Maybe it's not in the mind. Maybe it's in the body. And we knew that because going to the mind isn't getting results. Anxiety's on the rise. Addiction's on the rise. Suicide's on the rise. The it, mental health is mental approach is not getting good results. And we wanted to get better results. So we saw, what if it's in the body? And once we saw that it was in the body and we started to develop tools that just focus on the body, my anxiety, but also the other test cases, their anxiety started to go down and down and more importantly, stay down. Why? Because anxiety is not a problem of your mind. It's coming from your body. And the reason this is huge is because your audience has been trying to solve it probably at the mind level. And you can't. The mind is just a symptom of the body. If you're anxious in the body, your mind will start to spin. Mm -hmm. So your audience has been trying to solve it at the mind level, and you can't. That's just a symptom. And that's why you haven't solved it, because the experts sent you to the wrong location. They got confused, and they sent you to the wrong place. And that's why you haven't solved it, not because you're broken or doomed or crazy, but because the experts sent you to the wrong place location. And when you go to the right location, as you can imagine, things can go a lot better for you. And I want your audience to understand this isn't just information. First of all, this isn't just theory. This has been backed up with data. This is how we're solving anxiety is in the body. But also, if you listen to this, it explains why you haven't solved your anxiety yet, that it's not your fault. And it means maybe you could solve your anxiety if you go to the right location. I had a client uh, that we were working with a month ago, and he heard me on a podcast. And when he heard me say it's in the body, he pulled over and he had this huge epiphany. He just went, oh my God. He said, "He later I spoke to him. He said, I had tried everything and nothing worked. And I felt so trapped and so doomed. And once you said, oh, it's because you went to the wrong place, it made so much sense. And he said, yeah, it's in the body. And he said, even before he started the program, he was already feeling better because he had hope, Toby. He had hope that he doesn't have to live like this forever. So if you're, audience, if you're listening to this audience, it's not just about that it's not in the mind, it's in the body. Mm. It's about the fact that it explains why you still have it and it's not your fault. And it means if we go to the right location, you could be free of this. Yes. And how does your program help us? Like now that we've realized that anxiety is in the body, how does your program help us to then take that information and use it to solve anxiety? Well, that's a good question. And the, yeah, that's the next question is like, well, okay, now that we know it's in the body, what do we do? But first, do you understand the implications of the fact that so many people are sent to the wrong place and suffering unnecessarily and kind of what a big deal it is if we find out that mental health isn't mental? Do you get why yeah. that's a big deal? Yeah, it's a lot of misunderstanding and... Um you know, moving in the wrong direction, basically. And I'm, that's why I'm super happy that we are having this exposure and enlightenment, basically, to the right way, the right path to move on um, in order to solve mental problems or mental issues, basically. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We can go in the right direction. You have been led, so many people have been led in the wrong direction by the experts who meant well, but they weren't engineers. They weren't trying to solve this. So then the question is, well, how do we solve it? Well, I'm an engineer. And once we realized it was in the body, this, this heavily simplified things. Why? Because the body is a lot easier to understand. 
you know, the mind, it's, I think, 86 billion neurons and I think 100 trillion synaptic pathways. They're just learning to understand the mind. They really don't understand it that well. So if you're told you have a brain disorder, which anxiety is called the disorder of the mind, we don't understand the mind. But the body, well, the body, we, we, we know a lot about. We understand there's a skeleton and arteries and ligaments and teeth and hair and lungs and capillaries. We sort of understand a lot about the body. Mm. And what we know about the body is that sometimes systems in the body malfunction. They don't run right. Mm -hmm. If you fall off a ladder and you hurt your knee, your knee system can get hurt. But people with a hurt knee don't have a hurt knee for years or their whole life. You can get your knee repaired. When I was 22, I was trying to impress a girl with my dance moves, and I was a pretty good dancer. And I saw a music video where somebody ran up the wall and did a flip. And I, I was pretty cocky, so I went to run up the wall. I got about halfway up the wall, Toby, and I thought, oh, my God, I don't know. I don't know how to flip. So I didn't flip off the wall. I sort of pushed off it, and then I landed sort of cool Spider-Man style, like, ta-da, kind of like one knee down. But when I landed, I felt my entire knee explode. I didn't let her know. I, to I faked the smile, and I ended up, she ended up being my girlfriend, but my knee was blown out. But guess what? I wasn't doomed to have that forever. I went to a knee doctor. He was a knee doctor for the San Francisco 49ers. He looked at my knee. He showed me the ACL. He showed me my knee. He showed me the ACL was torn. I said, okay, I have a mechanical issue. He said, well, take a, a ligament from here and move it over here. You'll be back and you'll be up and running. And he was right. He did the operation, three months of physical therapy. I, my knee has never been better for 40 years, 30 years. So if something malfunctions in the body, it's not a death sentence. We know how to repair the body. So can you understand that just by going from the mind, which is this complex place we don't understand, once you bring the problem to the body, already we have a precedent that we can fix things quickly. Do you see that? Yeah, I see that. Yes. So, you know, knowing that it's in the body and knowing where in the body it's, um, you know, affected, then you can know the solution to go up. Like, just like you said with your nail also, you know exactly, yeah, my nail is injured. Then the doctor knows exactly what to do, you know, you know, to make sure that your nail is back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, if you don't brush and floss your teeth and you need a cavity, uh, your teeth will hurt a little bit. There's pain mm -hmm. there. But because we understand teeth, nobody feels tooth pain and goes, oh, my God, I'm broken. What's wrong with me? This is a brain disorder. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's COVID. Maybe. No, it's like it's just you have a cavity. You know what it is. You go to the dentist. They fill in the cavity. You're back. Yeah. yeah. So we ask ourselves, well, we just have to figure out where in the body it's coming from and specifically what system. You're an engineer. I'm an engineer. We love systems. Do you like systems, Toby? I love systems. Systems are great because yes. systems are predictable and mechanical. They have mechanisms. And when you understand a system, you can understand why a system malfunctions and then how to fix a system, whether that's a computer, a car, or a human being. So we asked ourselves, if there's a system in the body that's making people anxious, this is good news because mm -hmm. systems are easy to understand and re repair. Make sense? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And again, because we were just asking the right questions, the answer revealed itself. This is not complicated. This is dead simple. Okay? And I'll show you how simple it is. If you take away the word anxiety, which is just a label, and you say, well, I'm actually just feeling really, really nervous. Mm. You know, we could say anxiety is just feeling extra nervous. Mm -hmm. So ask yourself, what system in the body, if you're feeling extra nervous, what system in the body might be malfunctioning and making you extra nervous? The capillary system, the endocrine system, or the nervous system? I believe it's the nervous system. <laughs> Gold stars to you, Toby, and your listeners yeah. playing with the home game at home. It's the nervous system. <laughs> of course. Like, what? Do you see how obvious and simple that is? Yeah, yeah. We have an epidemic of people and young people that are extra nervous. There's a system in the body called the nervous system. Systems can malfunction. Mm. And the experts went, no, it's a brain disorder. Are you kidding me? 
Now, if they were getting results, fine. You know, things aren't always in the location and have the name, but like they weren't getting results and they just kept saying it's a brain disorder instead of realizing there's a system in the body called the nervous system and we got people that are extra nervous. So what we saw was anxiety, aka extra nervous, is that your nervous system is just like any system in the body and systems in the body can kind of start to malfunction and get out of balance and they start to kind of overreact and release pain. You know, if you, uh, if you, for instance, don't drink enough water, you know, you'll start to become really irritable and fragile and you can even become, you know, you just don't function correctly. If you don't brush and floss, you can get cavities and need a root canal and then your teeth aren't strong. If you don't eat a proper diet, your heart can, you can start to have heart pain. So we realized anxiety is no different. It's a system in the body and it's malfunctioning and basically out of balance and making everybody extra nervous. Mm. Now, yes, that's information, but look at what this information suggests. People think that anxiety is this complex thing. Well, it's not. If you break your leg, is that complex or is that simple? But that's complex, I would say. If you break your leg, you think that's complex? Yeah, I mean, it depends on on, on the intensity of the of the of the you know the injury or so. I would say, but I mean, if it's just a simple yeah, break or something, then it's quite simple. Well, that's a good point. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you're in a car that's crash and your leg is out behind your head or dangling, yeah. But it's still, complex. okay. So let's say you know there's a, a minor break. Mm. To, re to fix it and get you strong again. Is that a complex solution or a simple solution? It's a simple solution. That's a simple one. Yeah. They understand that the bone has a natural healing mechanism. You put a cast on, boom, you're back up and running. Mm -hmm. You don't have to manage symptoms. No more Band-Aids. You're just up and running. Um, if you're not drinking enough water and you start to get headaches and fatigue and brain fog and you want to feel better, is that a complex Solution or a simple solution? A simple solution. Yeah. So your nervous system is just another system in your body and it's malfunctioning. And so what this says is, if this is true, and it is, again, this is what our program is based on and the data showed. Mm. This is a system issue. Your system is malfunctioning. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not doomed. You just have a system in your body and sometimes our systems malfunction and that's what's going on. Now, downside is you have a malfunctioning nervous system and you're feeling extra nervous. But the good news is, is that you understand that systems are simple and can be permanently repaired and you can be back up and running quickly. So people sometimes say to me, Daniel, like, how can it be that simple? Mm -hmm. Fixing your teeth is simple. Fixing your leg is simple. Fixing, if you don't sleep enough, you can sleep more. That's all simple. If it's in the body, there's a simple solution. Your audience knows that for other things, and now they can know it for anxiety. It's simple. Yeah, it is simple. And I, I can already see how you bring in your perspective as, as an engineer into this, like building a system and looking at it. And, um, you know, I love the fact that we've, you know, established this knowledge already that anxiety is in the body. And I believe you could correct me, Daniel, that um, if anxiety is in, as, as long as we know anxiety is in the body, that means the body will surely give us signals to tell us, yeah, you are experiencing this. You're having this feeling right now, right? Is, is, that, is that true? Like the body tells us maybe from heartaches or I don't know, uh, whatever, joint pain that we're experiencing anxiety. Absolutely. And it's a really good point that, again, can give your audience a much more compassionate understanding of anxiety. Again, when things are in the mind where we're, we really judge ourselves, we're really hard on ourselves. I remember when I had anxiety, I thought it was in the mind. I was like, I'm crazy. What's wrong with me? I'm weak. I shouldn't be like this. But we understand the body sometimes malfunctions and pain is actually part of the divine design. Mm. The pain is there to tell you, hey, there's something off. We're trying to get your attention take a look. If you're not brushing and flossing, your teeth start to hurt. And that's actually built into the design who, to get our attention. If you're neglecting and not sleeping enough, you can start to get headaches. That pain, if you're not drinking enough water, you'll get headaches. Mm -hmm. We know that if you don't take care of the body properly, the pain, it's, you're not broken. It's actually your system running perfectly. It's the check engine light of your inner engine going off, warning you. 
So if you have a car and you didn't change the oil and the check engine light goes on, is that car broken or is it working the way it was designed? It's working the way it was designed. Yeah. So anxiety is basically the check engine light of your nervous system. It's telling you, hey, we're off and we need you to like take a look at this. And the reason this is such a profound perspective is when you have anxiety, you start to feel broken, like there's something wrong with you. But I'm telling you, no, in reality, it's your body talking to you, trying to get your attention to repair it and bring it back to health. So not only is there nothing wrong with you, your system is running perfectly. What do you think of that, Toby? I think that that sounds great. And that makes everything much more simplified also. And you, you said something that, you know, um, I've been you know, reflecting on, and that's about, there's nothing wrong with you. I've been, I've edited on some other podcasts that I really follow. Like there's nothing wrong with you. It's about looking at what happened to you. And in this case now, what happened to you is, for example, you broke your leg. So now how do we get to fix your leg so you can bounce back and become whole again? And that's what your program, that's where your program comes in. I know that you, you have a six week um, program without drugs, without therapy that helps people to solve anxiety. Does it, does it really work in six weeks? It really works in six weeks. And we know it works in six weeks because we're engineers. And what are we engineers like? We like results. People will say, well, how do you know? How do you know? Who's to say? Well, mm. we collect data. When people go through our program, we have a very extensive intake form where you measure your anxiety in several key metrics from one to 10. Mm. And then as you go through the program, you're measuring your anxiety with our app every day from one to 10 in a couple categories. So we have, we and you have clear numerical scientific data that shows this worked for you. If it doesn't, you don't pay, it does work. But also this measurement and testing is how we optimize the program that is so effective. And this is another perspective. Think of the, think of your average therapist or psychologist or spiritual teacher or the many experts out there that tell you this is what anxiety is, the people that write the books and do the videos. Mm. Do you intuitively think that when they tell you what anxiety is, they go out and scientifically measure the effectiveness of their solution and see if it scientifically works? Do you think they do that? No, not really. No. They just tell you some stuff that they learned and they pass it on to you. They don't test it like an engineer or a scientist. They just no. say stuff. Mm. And it pisses me off because it confuses people because these experts say things work. People try it and fail and then blame themselves. I was at a conference and this woman gave a talk and she said, the key, the reason we're anxious is because we're not more grateful. And all these people were writing notes down. Oh, I need to be more grateful. I need to be more grateful. Now I know that yes, being more grateful is nice. It can manage things. It's better than being negative, but that is not the root cause of anxiety. So I walked up to her and I said, oh, that's, that's a great talk. Yes, gratitude's important. Um, and I said to her, so you said that the root cause of anxiety is a lack of gratitude. And I said, what data do you have to back that up? <laughs> and she just looked at me like I just punched her kitten in the face. Like, what are you <laughs> doing asking about data and results? And I said, did you have crippling anxiety and you completely got rid of it? by being grateful? And she said, well, no, of course not. I said, did you ever meet anybody with crippling anxiety and just through gratitude, you helped them get their life back? She said, well, well, no, no, I haven't. And I said, I didn't say this. I sort of walked off. But what I'm telling you is she doesn't have the data to back it up, but she just says, this is anxiety. And there's all these experts out there saying this is anxiety and this is anxiety, but they don't back it up with results. And it totally confuses people. Yeah. And also they're not trying to solve anxiety. The reason your listeners still have anxiety is look at where the information comes from. It comes from experts, but most experts learn something either at school, university, from another teacher, and they learn something insightful and they pass it on. They learn and share, and sometimes they charge money. So learn, share, charge money, learn, share, charge money. Now, if what they learned and what they're sharing gets the job done, great. Learn, share, get the job done but they're not getting the job done. And they're just learning and sharing the same information that doesn't solve anything. It's just band-aids. So they're learning band-aids, passing on the band-aids onto you and charging money. And it's a really good business model because you just, people are, keep spending money managing it. And it doesn't bother them that they're not solving anxiety permanently. I heard this from a therapist in psychology school. 
sorry, in, in her school where to learn to be a therapist, she was told that one third of the patients that you work with will improve. One third will stay the same. And one third, Toby, will get worse. She was told that by her teachers to expect that. Now, that's not the problem. The problem is that everybody in that school didn't leave and go, that is horrible results, man. If I was in engineering school and said, okay, we're going to teach you how to build a bridge. One third of the bridges will work. One third will be too expensive, will never be built. And one third will collapse, killing thousands. I would leave because that's bad results. Yeah, but yeah. B baked into spirituality, personal development, and therapy is like, let's just try to manage it. Let's make money off the Band-Aids. And that's why they haven't solved it. That's why your audience hasn't solved it. So mm -hmm. sometimes people say to me, well, how did you solve anxiety? We solved it because we wanted to. Mm -hmm. The engineer in me can't stomach results like that. A third get worse? Are you kidding me? So I want your audience to listen to this. Can, well, I'm going to ask you, Toby. Can you understand that if your audience has been going to experts that are motivated to make money off of managing anxiety, can you see why your audience hasn't solved their anxiety? Yeah, I could see that. I mean, right from the beginning of us talking about it's not being in the mind but in the body i mean that puts us on a different path basically and yeah i can see why a lot of people are just managing and have not been able to overcome yeah and, and can I, you see that if you went to a group of people that are passionately focused on solving and we're trained engineers are very good you're an engineer at looking at a problem breaking it down coming up with theories testing until something works and you solve the problem we're mm -hmm. trained to problem solve yeah. So can you see that if you go to a group of people that are passionate about solving things and passionate about results, can you see that you're going to get better results than if you go to people who are paid to hand out band-aids? Of course. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. Well, I, have, I have a question, Daniel. Like, you know, as an engineer, we sometimes develop systems and programs that helps to solve problems. But when we want to apply that to human beings, um, I would like to say, or I, from my understanding, we are all different we are unique in our ways do you have a program that fits all or you have a program that is adjusted to the different needs and the uniqueness of individuals well it's a great question and again it's a big reason people think this is do could be true they'll say daniel look everybody's different everybody complex one mm. thing can't help everybody well if you think if you approach this psychologically then yeah Different people relate to different types of psychology and therapies and spirituality, different ways. But when it comes to the body, if it's mechanical, depending on the situation, the same thing works for everybody. If you have a thousand people, okay, and a thousand people fall off a ladder and break their leg a bit, yeah. all thousand people will benefit from a cast, okay? You'll never hear somebody go to the doctor with a broken leg and the doctor says, okay, we're going to put a cast on your leg. And the person says, no, everybody's different. I'm an enigma. I'm, you don't understand. No, because it's a mechanism. It just works. You put the cast on the leg and it just works. If you have a thousand people that don't drink enough water, they'll get headaches, brain fatigue. You can even die. If you take those thousand people that mechanically need water and you give them water to the system, do you see that all a thousand will feel better? It, it doesn't matter who you are. It, it's simple and it applies to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way we approach anxiety is it feels complicated, mm -hmm. but it's actually not because we all have a nervous system. That nervous system functions similar from every single person. Now, again, I know you can't fully believe me, which is why I want people to download the free training at the end, because that training gets given to a lot of people with different backgrounds, different faiths, different ages, different uh, histories. And it works for almost everybody. Why? Because it's a simple mechanical issue that can be fixed. And here's the other great part. If you understand, it's in the body. When the body malfunctions, you can do two things. One is you can lower the pain. But sometimes if you're having pain, you can use it as an opportunity to not just lower the pain, but bring the system back so it's healthier than ever. So have you ever heard of like those people that don't eat right and then they get a heart attack and they almost die. And then when they come out of the heart attack, they become super healthy and super fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've had that both. Yeah. So most people are just managing anxiety. That's the best they can ever hope for. But when you realize it's a body issue in our program, not only uh, what you're going to do is you're going to strengthen your nervous system and bring it back to full health. So we don't just lower your anxiety. We actually make your nervous system very strong and very resilient so you can handle anything. I I had a client come to us two months ago. He was from uh, Colorado and he's like, Daniel, I'm having horrible panic attacks. I'm anxious eight hours a day. Can you can you please get rid of this anxiety? And I said, yeah, not only are we going to lower your anxiety, but by the time you're done, you're actually going to feel confident. And he said, look, I don't even care about confidence. Just get rid of the anxiety. But our Mm -hmm. system makes you strong and resilient. So he went through the program. And at the end, he said, Daniel, I said, what? He said, you're right. I said, about what? He said, not only is my anxiety gone, he said, but I'm doing things I never did before. I'm strong. He said, I, I was in a meeting. And in meetings, I normally never say anything because I'm too afraid. And he said, all of a sudden, I stood up and I started sharing with the company my thoughts. And he said, it felt like an out-of-body experience because he was like, what am I doing? I don't have any fear doing this because he felt more, he could just do things he could never do before because now he was stronger. So our clients not only when you understand it's a body issue, not only do you lower the pain, but you can build strength so you can handle so much more so that life can push on you and you can be challenged. Life is challenging, but when you have a strong, healthy nervous system, you can just do anything and there's very little fear. So you're free and you get to live your full potential. That is the power of understanding this is a system in your body versus a brain disorder is it unlocks your potential. Yes, it sounds so awesome. I mean, I mean, I really love the fact that we've established, you know, that anxiety originates in the body and not in the mind. And I'm so grateful that you've, you know, come up with a program that helps people to understand this and also to learn that, you know, that the system, there's a system in the body that undoes and controls all of these. I also teach people how to, you know, make sure that this system or this fear system, for example, is always in equilibrium and, you know, they stay out of, you know, anxiety and they, it helps them to prevent being anxious and even gives them confidence also. So right now, Daniel, I would just like us to talk about the the offer that you have for us. Like, um, what's the best way people could, you know, attend your masterclass or even, for example, you know, sign up for this course or this program so that they can get rid of anxiety forever? Well, thank you very much. First of all, I'm going to tell your audience, you know, what I'm going to give them for free, um, this free gift. But first, Toby, I just want to thank you for having me and for having this wonderful podcast and giving me an opportunity. And also thank you to your listeners. You know, they they like you and they listen to you. And so to your listeners out there, you know, it's smart to follow Toby because he's got a good caring heart. And I'm glad I got to share this important information with you because, you know, I've been where you've been and it's so scary and you feel so broken. So it felt really good to all of you out there who are struggling with this. I hope you heard the transmission and really felt a little bit in your heart that there's nothing wrong with you. This is this is not your fault. The people you trusted to help you were confused and they confused you and made this way harder than it needs to be. Now, th- It sounds great that we have a program that solves anxiety permanently. However, here's the problem. And the problem is, is that your audience likes the sound of this. They're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. If I go from the mind to the body, systems in the body are easy to understand. Sounds good, Daniel, but here's the thing. They still think it's too good to be true. And so I'm going to send your audience to my website and I'm going to make it simple. So my name is Daniel Packard. What do you think my website is, Toby? DanielParker.com. Gold stars to you. So <laughs> look for my name in the podcast or in the liner notes. You go to DanielParker.com and you're going to see a free 45-minute training. But I want your audience to really understand the value of this training and what it can do for their life. So first of all, the word training doesn't do it justice. I wish there was a better word. I've heard people say like, master class. And that always seems a little weird because I don't know what a master class is and I don't want to call myself a master. Um, So it is technically a training, but it's so much more than that because it solves two huge problems that we found to helping people be free of this. And this is what we care about. First of all, when we told people we have this program, they say, well, that sounds good, but how does it work? How does it work, Daniel? And I go, well, ultimately you have to go through it and experience it for yourself. 
They say, yeah, 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 but how does it work? Is it, is it, is it hypnotherapy? No, it's not hypnotherapy. Is it cognitive behavioral therapy? No, no, it's not that you have, you have to feel it for yourself. But they said, well, if I don't know what it is, I'm not going to do it, which I sort of understood because there's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't work. So the reason that we charge at the end is to make it easier for people to try something, even when they don't know what it is, because they just know it's going to work. But still, people still would say, well, how does it work? So this training is basically going to show you how it works, a mini version. It's going to show you a proof of concept of how we approach this. So that's the first thing it's going to give your audience is to clear up some confusion and show you how it works. But secondly, again, no matter what I tell your audience, no matter how simple I try to make it, they just think it's too good to be true, which breaks my heart, Toby. We spent, we worked so hard to make something simple. And then I found out that simple sounds too good to be true. And I know this because we have people that go through our program. And at the end, they say, oh my God, this is incredible. I'm going to tell everybody. And I go, great. And about a year ago, one of our clients uh, who crippling anxiety, horrible situational anxiety, he couldn't show up for his family. He th went through our program. Now he's out there, you know, having fun with his children. He said, I have my life back. My wife has her husband back. My kids have their father back. I'm so grateful. And I'm going to tell everybody. And I said, great. And he went to his friends that have anxiety. And he said, this works. This is real. You know me. I had crippling anxiety and panic attacks. It's gone. Look. And they just said, no. And I said, and he asked me why. And I said, why do you think? He said, it just sounds too good to be true. When you've been so confused for so long from these experts, when you've had anxiety and you've tried so many things that don't work, it feels complicated. And when you say something simple, people just can't wrap their heads around it and they don't think it'll work. And so this training solves that because what do people need? They need an experience, Toby. They need to actually not hear what I'm saying, but feel in their body that what I'm saying is true and actually feel themselves becoming less anxious and more calm. They got to feel it. That's what will prove it. Data, real results. So I thought to myself, well, our clients who go through the program feel it, but it's a six-week program. How do I give people an experience of something that takes six weeks and in less than an hour, because in this internet age, people don't give you much time. And it took a lot of time. I asked my team, I said, how can we create like a mini training that gives them a profound shift and show them what's possible in under an hour? And it was not easy. Again, we came up with theories. We came up with techniques that would work quickly. We optimized. And so it took about two years to come up with this incredible training. But basically, now in 45 minutes, here's what you're going to get in this training. First of all, you're going to have an experience, a deep experience where you understand truly the root cause of your anxiety. What is actually making your nervous system malfunction? It is so simple. You're going to be mad somebody didn't tell you sooner. It is literally right under your nose and you're going to see and answer that million dollar question, why am I so anxious? You're going to find out why. It's because you have a malfunctioning nervous system and you're going to see that and more importantly, feel that. Then we're going to teach you a technique to basically start to bring your nervous system back to full health and strength. Then at the end of the training, you are going to apply that technique. I'm going to guide you through it. You're going to apply it to your nervous system and you are going to measurably feel your nervous system start to heal and your anxiety go down. You will feel this working. And not only it'll show you how the program works, it'll show you more importantly, that it'll work for you. Mm -hmm. So if you're doubting saying this can't be that simple, it can't work for me, this training will show you that it can be simple. And this can work for you. And it's going to give you hope. So that's what's in the training. And the training is not just about information. It's not just a technique and some information. It is there to give you a real experience that you can feel so that you can understand where this is coming from and that it's simple and that you can actually, it's going to give you hope that you don't have to live like this forever. Yeah. So if you think that 45 minutes uh, is a good investment to maybe be happier for the rest of your life, I invite you to download it at danielpacker.com. And also just logistically, if you're anxious right now, you could be 45 minutes away from already beginning to feel calmer. Or if you're not anxiety right, anxious right now, but you know you're going to be anxious later, you can get the technique so that you can apply it to your nervous system and be much calmer in 
the moment. So whether you're anxious right now and you want to feel calmer or you want to feel calmer in the future, or if you just want to have hope and see what's possible in a way that you can really feel and trust so that you can be happier, download the free training, apply the technique, and see what's possible at danielpacker.com. Thank you so much. I encourage everyone to just take that 45 minutes of time to invest into their future. I'll place the link to your website, danielpacker.com, in the show notes of this episode. So you can just copy the link or just click on the link and get across to the website, try out the free course and take it from there and see for yourself everything we've talked about in this episode. I appreciate you, Daniel. Thank you so much for your presence here and for sharing and opening our eyes to the cause of anxiety, where it is and how we could get rid of it forever. I appreciate this. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, my friend. It was my honor.